Things are happening and empire is unraveling. That raises the question, who will walk into the empty shoes of the US empire? I don't think it is China. As a matter of fact, I don't think it's anybody. China is not stupid enough. It needs some stupidity to enter the course that is heading for disaster. Empires are not in. The European Union's Council of Ministers, as, support, as opposed to the Commission, might have that level of stupidity. And many of them are tempted. I have put it the utter limit at 24 October 2020. It's United Nations Day, but it's also my 90th anniversary. And I claim to be in better health than the US Empire. <laughs> the obsession was to win a major war. Well, they won in Haiti. Congratulations. They won in Grenada. Congratulations. They lost great and big in Vietnam. They're losing in Iraq. They're losing in Afghanistan. They won the Gulf War February 1991. And George Bush Sr., the Medal of Honor man, declared that we have beaten the Vietnam Syndrome once and for all. What was the Vietnam Syndrome? Well, the, what the Vietnam Syndrome was that there are limits to how much politics you can do by military means. The US military has not known that limit and have intervened 244 times in other countries since Jefferson started in what today is Libya. This is the system that's being challenged. That system creates and is based on economic inequality and political repression. 